This installation is 200 square meters of printed solar cells. The first commercial installation of printed solar in Australia and to the best of our knowledge in the world. Many of our great ideas languish, they don't make it to this stage. But because we've got this really strong partnership between ourselves and CHEB, we're able to take this concept and turn it into a commercial reality. Our key drivers for participating in this partnership are really just three. We love supporting Australian innovation. Like any business, we want to lower our energy costs and we're committed to reducing our carbon emissions. What excites me about being involved in sustainability is basically creating a world that works, designing a world that works. And in order to do that, you're not going to have all the ideas yourself. You need to go out and look for those ideas. When I came across this printed solar panel with Professor Paul, Paul Destor's team, I was just blown away. I thought, if this works, this is going to be fantastic. We need to see this in operation and we need to see it at scale and quickly. I think the fact that CHEP are involved here at the first commercial installation of this technology is enormously significant. I think what it says is that there are movers and shakers in the Australian industrial scene that are willing to back new innovation, new technology. The interesting thing about this is it's a really humble and unassuming technology, right? And it's actually much, much like a pallet. A pallet is very humble, but it's ubiquitous. If people didn't have pallets, they would realise very quickly the importance of pallets. This technology is just like that. It's humble, it's unassuming, but it's doing work that's so important for, for the world. You know, many people might ask, why don't we see more of these technologies right there, right now? Well, because it's really bloody hard to take it from small scale to large scale. It takes years and it takes the ability to produce large scale demonstrations like this to make that transition. And so it takes brave and innovative companies to partner with universities to help take that step. CHEP sees benefit in supporting new innovation fundamentally because it's in our DNA. It's the way you make business better. But I think any business that wants to uh, grow, to innovate, to disrupt, uh, has to be seeking good ideas and a lot of those will come from the university sector. One of the things that I've come, you know, come to know about the university team is they're just the most inspirational problem solvers. There's nothing that they don't seem to be able to solve. It's just this incubator of good ideas. And of course, it's so, you just want to be involved in that. And they're, they're, they're really targeting some of the, the biggest problems the world's facing. You know, we need more renewable energy. We need it at low cost and we need it quickly. That's what this technology has the potential to deliver. So, you know, it's exciting to see it happen and I just want to see more and more of it. It's so important and so exciting. And I think it shows that actions here on the ground are occurring to try and tackle this energy crisis that we're in. Look, this really goes back to our roots. We love being involved with the University of Newcastle as the university continues to innovate and increase the yield and lengthen the life. You know, I could see this just continuing to grow in terms of its impact.